Physics Labs of the Physics Academy <coughs> at the University of Salamanca. And this work has been done in collaboration with Cristina Prieto and Maria Jesus Santos from the Department of Fundamental and Applied Physics at the University of Salamanca. Well, the degree in physics has changed much as a consequence of the Bologna process. In particular, a great effort has been done in our faculty to emphasize the importance of lab work. However, the maintenance of labs is very costly both in material and also in human resources. So a deep reflection has been carried out about learning methods at the lab. During the last years, we have been performing different innovative teaching practices in our labs and we wanted to analyze the pedagogical results of this experience from the point of view of the students and this is how this project was born. We designed a survey and it was uh, the students finishing the third course were asked, asked to complete it and the results of this survey will be analyzed at the end of my talk. So the new degree is degree physics at the Salamanca University was started in 2009-2010, so already five years ago. And we have nine lab matters, which are uh, you can see them here. Uh, they are intended to cover the practical basis of the actual physics. Most of them are three ECTS credits long, uh, except for the one in the first course, which is twice as much, is the general physics lab. And we can see here the structure of different courses. As a general objective, the student should uh, get familiar with lab work, instrumentation, and be able to carry out physics experiments individually and describe, analyze, and critically evaluate their results. So lab matters are designed so that the student must get different skills or abilities. Here you can see the different, uh, above my head, skills that are, are expected to be acquired by the students along the degree in physics. These are the different uh, here. These are the different labs and subjects of our degree, starting from, from the physics lab in the first course to the nuclear physics lab, which is in the fourth course, although it's not compulsory. And uh, uh, here you can see how specific these are the, the different skills, and you can see how the specific skills are expected to be acquired in a progressive way. Sorry. So when completing their studies, the students should be able to work satisfactorily both in an independent or a collaborative way, express their findings using scientific reasoning, and also use proper lab techniques. Now let's move to the innovation resources that were implemented in some of the physics lab during the last years. Before going to the lab, the student is forced to go to, to attend theoretical seminars where they get familiar with the equipment and protocol, but also we elaborated different teaching materials such as videos, applets, uh, well, they are provided with applets, we didn't do them, uh, solve problems, uh, self-assessment quizzes, and all this material is available anytime on the virtual platform. So what about the activities at the lab itself? Well, whereas we usually keep some traditional features of the lab work, such as group of, groups of two or three members, individual reports, or we make a final examination. We also adopted brand new techniques, such as the ones presented here. First of all, computers are widely used, first uh, starting from the data acquisition, as you can see here in a glimpse. It's very useful, uh, they, it's very used in the general physics lab, in the first course, but also computers are uh, really helpful for data treatment. In addition, uh, we implemented peer tutoring and also peer evaluation for higher courses, and this was done through the implementation of a rubric. However, unfortunately, I don't have time to comment more detail about this. So as I told you previously, individual reports are usually required in order to get a final assessment. We pay special attention to the way data and graphics are displayed and structured, uh, the discussion of the results, and the personal conclusion. However, the final mark of the lab subject also includes a global examination. 
The weights for the different pair forms vary between 50-50 to 30-70, depending on the particular subject. The purpose of the exam, which can be oral or written, depending on the subject, subject again, is to check individual per, uh, student performance at the lab and if, whether the student needs or not the learning objectives. <laughs> Although a final written examination of lab matters seems to be nonsense, lack of experimental resources and a high number of students and low number of teachers force us to adopt it as a usual instrument for the assessment task. So a global assessment of the lab work is intended to check to which level the student has reached the required objectives and skills, their ability to conduct their own, own investigations, reason scientifically, and also communicate their findings. Now at this point, although I have been very brief, I hope I have given you a flavor on how things work in some of our labs at the physics degree. Now after the new teaching and innovation resources have been implemented in the labs, the main purpose of this experience was to plan common improvements for the incoming years. And so how can we do that? We decide for, for, for solving that question to ask the students because we consider their opinion as a very helpful tool to analyze the rate of success of the innovative, innovation actions whether they perceive that uh, the changes that we have done as an improvement or not. The responses also point to possible weaknesses in our procedure and they may guide us in the design of the future activities or future teaching material for the following years. Now I will briefly review the results we found. We found. We took the survey for two different promotions in 2013 and 2014 and to each sentence that appear in the survey the possible answers range from 1 to 4 being 1 strongly disagree, 4 strongly agree and the sum of the different percentages associated to the 1, 2, 3, 4 must sum 100%. So the first question was the lab and they here could rate different aspects as the one stated uh, at the bottom of the, of the plot, such as helps me understand theory, helps me relate to theory, is motivating, helps me connect to the real world, or is satisfactory or not. Uh, the most important point we found here in the analysis was the high percentage obtained by the positive answers, which are represented by pink and light pink colors. In average, around 80% of responses were positive, so there is a good feeling from the students regarding to the lab work. The perception is even better for the last year, the present year, because about 90% of responses revealed a high degree of satisfaction. Second, we asked them about the procedure, and I would like to stress here that there has been an improvement in the work performed by the students prior to <coughs> the lab. This change uh, was more evident during the last year, especially after the Bologna process was implemented. There is a huge difference between the, the former degrees, Lucentia and the, the, the new Bologna degree. They consider it more and more important, and you can feel that when you are with the students at the lab. The last column here shows that the performance, the, the individual performances, of the students of the lab are very satisfactory as they say to have understood the subject very high rate after going, having gone to the lab. Now let's move to the perception of the students uh, with respect to these, these different pedagogical resources. First, they don't acknowledge at all neither the theory seminars or bibliography as a very source of information, they don't like them. However, in turn, they value the in-lab explanation, the help of teacher, and even the traditional instruction sheets as the most useful sources of information. And as for the activities that may be employed, or, or they do, or we employ for the assessment, final assessment, nearly all of them were positively framed. 
the only exception to this positive perception is the final examination here in the last column because around 60%, as you can see, of the students consider it to be, to be useless, or at least they say so. The perception they have about the degree of usefulness increases from 2013 to 2014, uh, and um, uh, that, that's all, I'm arriving to my final remarks. Um, we have implemented a combination of new and traditional resources in the physics labs during the last years, and we designed a survey to evaluate the perception of the students about the, these pedagogical resources recently implemented. Um, we consider the student's opinion as a very valuable material in order to, to detect quick points and help us create new teaching material. There should be a critical thought on the items considered as negative from the students. I couldn't uh, uh, take longer at this point, but there are some points that they, they expressed they didn't like. And, however, the general trend is satisfactory and a positive evolution appears to be present. 